Hello guys, welcome back to bcetutor.com and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can calculate your gravimetric factor or GF. So we all know that GF is a fundamental calculation in uh, involving analytical chemistry subjects. So in this case, we are given with our substance salt and substance away. We have HCl and Cl together with their molecular weights. So in this case, we're just going to follow what we call as formulas. Okay, so the formula in computing our gravimetric factor is equal to A over B, okay, times that of the molecular weight of substance salt and the molecular weight, okay, all over the molecular weight of substance whey. So this is just the formula. Before proceeding, um, let's just talk a little bit about our A over B. So this is our, what we call a stoichiometric, stoichiometric ratio, okay? So the idea here is that, for example, we have this fraction 1 over 3 or 1 third. We need to multiply numbers to the top and bottom. I say numbers so that it will equate to 1, okay? So in this sense, what number are we going to multiply to the top so that it will equate to our bottom, right? So we can multiply 3. At the bottom, we can multiply 1. So in that sense, we have 3 over 3, which is just equal to 1. So that is just the idea of our gravimetric factor, okay? Now, let's go back to our problem. We have Cl over AgCl. So our substance thought, we have 1 Cl, right? So this is 1. And if we're going to look at the bottom, we also have 1 Cl. So there's no need to find numbers so that the top and bottom will be equal kasi equal na sila, di ba? Our stoichiometric ratio in this sense then is just 1 over 1, right? So, this is now, then let's proceed to the formula which is our molecular weight of the substance salt and molecular weight of the substance weight. So, we have 15.0 for Cl and 89.5 for AgCl. So these are molecular weights that are just hypothetical, okay? Now, if we're gonna multiply it using our calculator, we'll get our answer of 0 0.17. Okay, so this is already our gravimetric factor. Now, if you will ask, what if the top and bottom are not equal? What, um, let's have this problem. For example, Cl2 over, okay. Again, so Cl2 is the substance that is being sought, okay. And we have AgCl pa rin na substance way. Anong gagawin natin kasi hindi naman sila equal? So, ganun pa rin. For example, we just set our gravimetric factor formula which is Cl2 all over AgCl. Okay? Now, sa taas, we have dalawang Cl. Sa baba, isa lang. So, the ratio there is 2 over 1. Diba? So, we need to, to uh, equate this to find numbers para maging equal ang nasa taas at nasa baba. So, anong pwede natin ma-multiply? Diba? Pwede nating ma-multiply ng um, ang nasa baba ng times 2 para maging 2 para ma-equal sila sa taas at itong nasa taas by 1. So, equal na sila, di ba? So, ganyan lang kadali. So, our stoichiometric ratio in this sense or A over B is just equal to 1 half. Times that of the molecular weight of the substance that is being sought um, we have 15.0 all over AgCl is, let's just base the molecular weights at the top, we have 89.5, right? So, our answer for that is, we have 1 over 2 times 15 all over 
1.5, okay? And the answer for that is equal to 0 0.08. So, ganyan ang kadali ang pagkuhan ng ating gravimetric factors or GF. So, very easy sa part na equal lang yung top at bottom nila at saka sa hindi naman equal. That is just the process of our GF calculation. So, thank you so much guys. I hope you learned something from it. If you have questions, you can just comment it at the comment section below. Thank you and God bless.